My name is Dr. Stephen Jackman. I'm a professor of biology and research coordinator at Wright State University Lake Campus. And we are standing here today at a restored natural wetland. Uh, this is Prairie Creek Wetland, and we're on the shores of Grand Lake St. Mary's in Northwest Ohio. Wetlands are vitally important natural spaces. Uh, they act as groundwater recharge points. Um, they act to help keep our surface waters clean by filtering out nutrients, uh, toxicants, or other kinds of pollutants. They also act as biodiversity uh, habitat warehouses. There are innumerable uh, species of, uh, of plants, uh, animals, um, all sorts of things that uh, depend on the existence of wetland habitat. And they act as very powerful tools uh, for conservation. The way that wetlands function from a water quality perspective um, is effectively like one of a filtration system. Um, water, either from a lake or a stream, uh, or even just overland runoff, uh, will flow into a wetland system uh, and then through a series of biological and physical processes, the water will be effectively cleaned. Um, in this particular case, the goal is to remediate nutrient pollution, nutrient runoff, um, and what happens in this particular wetland is stream water flows into uh, the wetland and there's a series of individual pools or cells and beginning where the water flows in, those cells are deep water cells and they allow uh, larger particles, physical particles, things like uh, sands and even some silts uh, to settle out and then that water filters and percolates and trickles through a series of ever increasingly shallow pools that are vegetated out with a variety of vegetation um, and that vegetation uptakes um, all of the dissolved chemical nutrients, the nitrogen and the phosphorus, as well as settles out the remainder of any silts or clay particles. And what you're left with is a product that is much cleaner than what you started with. These particular wetlands are capable of removing up to 90% of the dissolved phosphorus as well as the dissolved nitrogen. They're capable of removing over 90% of the physical sediment, the total suspended sediments. So if you have questions about the long-term maintenance of either a new wetland um, that you'd like to construct, if you have a low-lying area of a, of a field that you're interested in converting, um, or even if you have an existing wetland that's been there for some time, if you have questions about um, how to maintain that over time, there are uh, personnel and programs that uh, exist to help you programs and officers through NRCS, as well as, again, your local soil and water uh, office. These are all resources that uh, are at your disposal. Uh, and so please don't let uh, the sort of enormity of restoring natural habitat act as uh, a deterrent from doing so.